Hi everyone, and I'm going to do a video on the Demikin, which is a, a variety of goldfish. Um, generally, sort of from China, it's a bit difficult to say, although the name is a Japanese name. And I am referring mostly to the Demikin with the hump. Uh, so a looks a lot like a Ryokin but with telescope eyes. And as you can see, here's a few sort of clips of my male. He is in quarantine right now, hence the tank's a bit unattractive and it's got an awful blue background. And as you can see, he does look a lot like a Ryokin. He's very deep and sort of, that sort of bulldog sort of look to them. Um, he is the black one. Um, the orange one is a butterfly telescope female. She's a lot younger and a lot smaller, as you can see. Um, but he's generally quite easy to grow. I'd say being quite a deep variety. A bit more for issue with swim bladder, which I'm keeping an eye out for. And he's currently on Saki Hikari. But I'm going to talk about the variety in general throughout the video and show you like examples, a few and then compare them to the definition of demikin. Okay, so what is the demikin really? Well, its origin is difficult, I believe. It's because they're not really included in many breed standards, other than under the sort of direct translation. I personally believe they're a Chinese variety that was imported to Japan and then further developed within Japan, much like the Ryukin is. Um, and they do look very similar. They both have the hump, but they, and it does indicate that the Demikin does originate from the Ryukin. And so, but the Japanese translation of any telescope goldfish is demikin. So they're butterfly telescopes, they're called demikins, moors, they're all called demikins. Demi, our pronunciation is up to you. So this makes it kind of difficult to work out origin. And technically, that doesn't really, does it make the demikin a variety or sort of like a cross between variety? So whether it's a cross, so a bit like Hawkins, um, the Aranda Cross uh, Ryokin, and um, Aranda Telescopes and stuff like that. Although they, a lot of the Japanese um, telescopes are tend to be butterflies, I've noticed, and a few of the Demikins. Maybe the Demikin, they're not top view either, which is a sort of... A lot of the Japanese varieties, Tosakin, Izumo Nankin, um, uh, Jaikin, um, and of course Top View Ranchu, um, Osaka Ranchu, all of those are all Top View, but the Demikin isn't. And I wouldn't say the Ryukin either, either is, strangely, I, the, um, oh, I've forgotten it now. A single tailed Ryokin. Um, I'll write it down in the description or something before when I remember. Um, so they're not really sort of, you can keep them in ponds, but they kind of look better in an aquarium, which to me doesn't strike Japanese variety. Um, the butterfly telescopes aren't Japanese, but I think they look better in ponds, but they can look better either way. I'd rather have them in a pond because then the tail spread, you see it better, if you get what I mean. But the Demikin is, as I said, a sort of Viking like with a telescope eyes. So they follow a lot of the Ryokin standards. Generally, Ryokin ha are short-tailed, but they can be the broad tail, a lot like the broad tail moors, but I would say the broad tail moors are a lot longer. Um, and so this kind of, this is sort of a bit of a hybrid or just a Ryokin with telescope eyes. And they're one of my favorites. They're just like, I'm not really into the long fin fish. Yes, I have butterfly telescopes and I have globe eyes, which butterfly telescopes are sort of globe eyes. But I think these lot are brilliant. Sorry, the fish tank is there and I keep looking at it, which is really probably not that good. Um, 
So that sort of wraps up my video. I'm not really sure on what to say particularly. They do require a little... I wouldn't say they need more depth than other varieties because they do go upwards a bit, but they're not particularly that much larger. Um, I'd feed a sinking food pellet diet. That's Saki cry. I didn't put that there on purpose. Um, mine's on the sponge filter at the moment, and I feel that's better for their, like, they find it easier flow. Because um, I was using, and you might have seen a little hint of the... Um, internal I've got. I was going to use that in a hill stream tank and it does have too much power for the for the Demikin but the butterfly has no issues whatsoever. Um, I do want a female and I'll get a female sometime and I'd like to breed them it's just finding them. Um, he's well he's at they're absolutely brilliant um, and I do really recommend them if you can find them. And I wouldn't say they take much more work. They probably do need a slightly higher protein diet than, say, butterfly telescopes as they've got to build that larger hump. Um, you can get slight vari variations. I've noticed some have the typical Ryukin hump, which kind of folds over the head a little bit, whereas others are a bit different. But as the translation, you see a lot of Demikin sold that are other varieties and I've seen telescopes sold at, that look more demikin. Um, I know MF Aquatics has brought them in and my one is from Star Fisheries who has more in but they're all babies and I really he caught my eye. Anyway thank you for watching I'm going to do a video on Paterioga Pterygoplithes, which is the common plaque, and showing the differences between them because I've done quite a bit with them and they're really interesting. And I might do a few more videos, it's just finding the time. Anyway, thank you for watching.